Okay, we are going to head straight into a settings tutorial for the PX248 Pro. If you want to know more about generally how to set your monitor for its settings across the board, there is an excellent video that a chap whose name I've forgotten has done, but the link's in the description. Go and watch his video. He covers the basics regardless of what monitor you own. As far as this monitor goes though, I'm the expert because I've been using this for four or five weeks and I have tested every darn setting there exists on here. I might be a little bit wrong in some places and I'll take your feedback in the comments. I'm sure there's going to be a load of you that tell me this setting could be better or that setting could be better. But this is, in my opinion, the best in terms of gaming usage and just having a singular setting across all forms of use, productivity, gaming, whatever it may be. So right off the bat, brightness, this is going to happen a lot. That's a problem with the user interface of this monitor. I have raised that concern in my previous video as well. I hope Pixio can fix this, but this message is going to come up a lot in this video. Uh, apparently, every time you want to change something, it wants to warn you that may impact power consumption because of changing the default settings. And they're not even default. So Pixio, please fix this. Brightness. You can have the brightness at whatever level you want. My general setting that I keep is 51. I had to reduce that for the purpose of a recording a video. Contrast ratio I've set at 48. Black equalizer at 49. 49 for everything. However, when I'm gaming, particularly world zone, then I go up to as much as 52 sometimes. But I don't recommend going that high uh, for general use. 49 seems to be a good place to be. Make sure you're selecting the user preset because the others lock some options and we don't want that. Sharpness at 75. There's only four options. 25, 50, 0, 75, 100, so maybe more than four. But yeah, stay at 75. In terms of color, again, we need to make sure we've got the user selected so we can... Uh, choose our own settings and these are the best settings I can recommend 51 for red 52 for green and 47 for blue it's very washed out um, towards a bluer um, screen if you don't do it this way so uh, those are my recommendations but you can give it a go and see if it works or doesn't work for you make sure gamma is turned off just just doesn't do good things to, to your color and your brightness settings I wouldn't recommend any of this just keep it off here don't touch it at 50 it's fine saturation at 60 just makes everything more vibrant and don't turn the low blue light on if you want low blue light do it your, um, through windows or, or a separate um, program within um, Windows. You don't need to do, use this setting at all. Okay, next section then. If I can navigate out, there we go. Gaming setup. Free sync premium is there. Adaptive sync works. I've tested it. If you're into that, make sure you use it. I don't really use G sync or free sync or adaptive sync just because um, I'm gaming Warzone most of the time. And for that, I just want ultra low latency and, and, and I don't want anything um, messing about with that. So generally, I don't use it, but there are occasions where I turn it on. Seeing that some users from three or four months ago reported that every time you turn it on, it would turn off automatically. I haven't noticed that on this model. Maybe if they fixed it, if you still have these issues. Do put that in the comments. Let's talk about it. Overdrive. Currently in high because I had it on settings. I recommend keeping it off. It's a blurringly fast monitor. You don't need to put it into overdrive for better response times. You could go low, but don't go any further than low. I've tested this with various methods, but our trusty alien is the best method. And there's a lot of overshoot. You can see the trailers uh, appear as soon as you go into low and, and a really bad situation when you get to high. So I, I just recommend keeping it off. It works fine in, in, in off mode. Uh, the monitor's performance is, is perfectly fine at, at off for that setting. Game assist is timer, crosshair, FPS counter. Knock yourself out if you want to have those on. HDR, my recommendation is not to use HDR on this monitor. At this price point and with no variable dimming uh, uh, backlight behind this, this panel, and at this 300 nit brightness, you're not getting HDR10. And in my opinion, anything less than uh, the full HDR10 that OLEDs offer these days isn't worth HDR. So that's not a thing against Pixel or monitors um, that don't quite get to HDR10 seem to carry on market that they can do HDR, but it doesn't look great um, without those um, basic features uh, being present. So in my recommendation is never use HDR on this monitor or any monitor 
that doesn't have uh, a full array local dimming, like mini LEDs or pixels that make their own brightness, i.e. OLED. Okay, I need to change the setting for how quickly that turns off. There is a setting for it. So HDR off, dynamic. Um, uh, what is this? Is this contrast ratio or uh, Google that very quickly? I know what it is. I just don't know what it stands for because every one, every manufacturer has to name it something different. It's the it's the one that changes your your. There we go. Contrast ratio. That's what I thought it was. Keep it off, please. Do not put it on. So MPRT, which was the last one here, MPRT is moving picture response time. Keep this off. It's a version of backlight strobing uh, to reduce motion blur. Um, you're better off without it. You don't need it on. It, it reduces brightness by 20% and it doesn't really make a noticeable difference to any motion blur, which really on this monitor isn't a problem anyway. So just keep it off. You don't need it. Okay, input, keep it on auto select or, or um, keep it fixed on, on one of those if, if, if that's what you need. Standard setting. Yeah, you can you can play about with the languages, uh, the position, transparency, OSD timeout, which I need to increase. I'm going to make that 30 seconds now. Um, you can play about with the audio and you can reset all settings. And then you can save everything into one user, which I am now going to do to user one so that I can come back to those settings. And there you have it. All the settings for PX248 Pro from Pixio. Great gaming monitor. Keep it simple with these settings. Don't turn on those settings that you do not need. And this monitor is a brilliant budget gaming monitor for your PC setup. Thank you for watching. See you next time.